This morning I got really excited because my parts from Auto Gallery, Mitsubishi, and Corona were supposed to come in today so I could replace the master and slave. Until I got a phone call from my buddy Amir, the one who's helping me out get the parts and everything and told me that there was a delay because of Thanksgiving on Thursday, that stuff that was supposed to arrive on Friday got pushed to Monday. So that means today my parts are supposed to come in, they're coming in tomorrow morning at 11.30 or something like that. Not gonna lie, I was a little bummed, but oh well. Um, today is Cyber Monday. I hope you guys are all taking advantage of great things. Um, I got a pair of pants that were gonna be $45 shipped and instead of that they were $21 after tax and shipping, which is pretty rad. Hope you guys are all getting uh, some super dope stuff and taking advantage of all the sales that are going on right now. Right now, I'm getting ready to go to an appointment. I have an appointment at 2 uh, with a special friend, and then after that, we're going to link up with Sergeant Zach. Uh, we might mess around with the Evo a little bit. There's a few things I read on Evolution M I want to try before um, swapping in the new parts. It doesn't really matter because with the new Master and Slave, that was something I was going to do anyway, even if it didn't break, because in the future, I'm going to go with a much heavier clutch, obviously, that can, uh, you know, hold more power and abuse, and the stock clutch isn't really that strong anyway. So we're gonna do a couple things just to see if we can get the Evo driving again. Um, and then he's also gonna go over to 9K and order some parts. So kick back, relax, today's gonna be a good one. Let's go. Yaris, that's such a happy little car. There's a spider crawling on my door, look at this. Look at this guy. Here's something, man, he's moving. Also, if you guys got anything cool for Cyber Monday, please comment. Uh, Place a comment in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you guys got. I'm kind of curious. Also, guys, don't forget to head over to Simply Carbon Fiber and use my coupon code to save 10%. I'm trying to help all of you guys out so that you guys can buy cool gifts for your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever and make it make a great gift, man. I'm just saying, you guys should do it. So I just got out of my appointment. I was gonna go over to Zach's house right now until I realized I forgot the freaking Evo key at home. Oh my god. Where it's gonna express the frustration of leaving the key at home when I knew that I was leaving my house today. Day. And there's something that I forgot and I couldn't remember what it was. It was in the back of my mind And I know all of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about until I realized damn it Can't get in the Evo. Uh, one unnecessary car trip later. We got the Evo keys All right after the longest detour ever we are here with the bug killer Rex. It's been a while with this thing What did you mess up? Why are you crying, fool? I blew the motor on it because I... No, you didn't. Actually, you, you, don't, you don't know how to bleed a, bleed a slave cylinder, apparently, yeah, according to the internet. So, like, I, I messed up because I thought, like, in order to bleed a, a slave, you have to, like, let the air out of your right side uh, rear tire. <laughs> to, like, approximately okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, this is Zach's today project. He's trying to install lumbar support for when he goes on those extra long Tinder dates. When he drives three hours up north to pick a chick up, he's comfortable. See? <laughs> so I was looking at the comments on yesterday's video, and one of the comments that was really funny and stood out in my mind while I'm trying to grab something and multitask. One of the comments that stood out in my mind was that someone was like, oh, you shouldn't have got the Evo, it's already having problems. Um, you should sue the dealership, blah, blah, blah. One of the reasons I have the Yaris now, which I never had a daily, as you guys know, and I had the STI, is because I was already ready to deal with problems. And the Evo is a 2006, has 47,000 miles. My 2017 STI was brand new and I was the only owner. If my STI had problems, then yeah, I would have, you know, that's a lemon or something. All right, so now that Zach finished putting in his Tinder padding, we're gonna take the Rex over to 9K. He's ordering some parts. Soon he's cranking up more power for the Scoob. Apparently, we're gonna find out if it explodes guys. He's gonna try to do ethanol. Hey Your car's gonna explode Probably. <laughs> So Zach literally left me in his car didn't even crack the windows He's at the bank looking at making financial mistakes <laughs> You didn't even leave the window crack for me. I was suffocating Sucks. Man. Damn Alright, so we're out here in the 9K Racing Warehouse. Uh, just got here, Zach's gonna order his clutch with the homie Jesse, I think, because all the other sales are to the home, I'm not too sure. This, uh, this this made me laugh. That's a good joke. I'm just kidding. This is a really clean STI, actually. Tomei exhaust, BBS's, really clean. 9K coming through with the new new. What is this? 
Hey. Yeah, I'm also right here. He's got the Fast and the Fears ready, man. Hey, remember when we went to the, what was it, break out of lay? You're like, imagine this on your forehead. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Imagine, like, <laughs> <someone else> <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bloodbath? You're a good puppy. Oh. What's up, buddy? Step into the office of financial non-responsibility. Oh, we're, okay. we're in the most super office right now. We're about to put the splitter on his car. If you guys don't know, 9K is one of the few shops with an actual Jay's Racing account. And they got these gangster skateboards. Awesome. Oh, what's Derek got? He's got a Skyrine. Wow, Derek, I like your S14. Oh, thanks, man. Everybody got really mad at me last time I said this. <laughs> yeah, no, I did the Zenki conversion from the Koki oh. because I wanted to make it look more dated. <laughs> <laughs> My car is the same buzzing. Could be you when you're playing. This could be me, but I'm not that at the level. This is the homie Garrett Evo 9, full bolt on D85, super clean car. This is uh, this guy hurts a lot of feelings. I believe he's on the stock turbo still, and it's still a really fast car. Mr. Momo, you out of here? Man, look at you, man. Ready for the next Fast and the Furious? Those Takata harnesses. Those are the drift. Yeah, drift. they look nice. Ooh, that model shot. Peace out, Derek. Till next time, hurt more feelings in the Cressida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace out, Jesse. Peace out, man. I'm gonna play some uh, PUBG. Oh, hell yeah. So we were back at Sergeant Zach's house. One of you guys said that we need to fill up the reservoir, basically to the point where it's gonna overfill, and that Zach and I are retarded. We're gonna test that theory right now, which we're, we both are strong believers that it's not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway, just to see if we can make this thing mobile again. We're gonna find out. The viewers can see we're doing what you're saying right now. Dot three, fill it up. Okay. Dot three brake fluid. From Honda. We're f f from Honda. Well, I guess brake fluid is brake fluid. So whoever made that comment, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but you were right. Zach and I are retarded, and we should have overfilled it, and we didn't. We just pumped the clutch and bled everything. I'm gonna start the car right now, and we're gonna do a test drive in a second. So whoever left that comment, you were right. Zach and I are retarded. We drove the Evo to a mobile place. We're stoked to finally have the car back on the road. Zach is. Embarrassed, look at him, guys. He's embarrassed. I'm giving up working on cars. We're giving up. I'm He's embarrassed. Car. I'm buying a Tesla. He's embarrassed. It's okay. I'm off the internet forever. His All quote right. literally was, I'm returning the parts. I'm buying an Evo. <laughs> also, since you guys are always asking when I get to drink almond milk tea, Zach, what'd you get, chai? I usually get Thai, chai. Thai, chai? I'll either get Thai tea or Thai tea or almond milk tea. He likes lavender. Today I went Zach is a lavender kind of person. He's inhaling lavender. Yep, he likes lavender. Alright, I just dropped Zach off. It's cold. I'm so stoked to have the Evo back. You guys have no idea. I know some people are gonna like talk, smack, and just uh, be like, oh, you guys are retarded. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. We didn't really know that um, you had to overfill the thing, but I'm back. And the spark plugs fix the check engine light too, like I said. So there's no more check engine light, which I'm super stoked about, and the car idles way smoother. I know you guys, a lot of like you guys that built my channel on Subarus, and there's a lot of people who are going to dislike this car in the beginning, because up front, you know, like I said, trading in a 17 STI, and getting a 2006 Evo 9 seems like a downgrade, but believe me, I got really big plans for this car, and I'm really excited to share the build with all of you guys, and you guys just have to be patient. Just so you guys know, building a car takes a lot of time, effort, money, and creativity. And I have a lot in store for this thing. Just be patient, and I promise you guys, it's going to all work out. So unfortunately, guys, just to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming with me. I will have another Evo vlog I'll be filming tomorrow. So I'm trying to get back in the regular schedule of things. That, um, not having this car kind of put a damper on trying to film stuff for you guys. But now I can get back into going to meets and other stuff. So get you guys some more content. Peace out.